Okie dokie, I think it might be finished. I decided what I wanted to do with the handle. And this is, let me spritz it for you so you see the colors come to life. Anyway, I put a deep cerulean down the edges. So that'll be a dark blue. And then kind of a mottled on the side to pick up all the colors of the violets. You can see the details there and get a better idea of what things will look like once it's glazed. And I put the water on it like that. Hope I didn't just put too much water on it. Ooh. And we have the cerulean around the rim. That'll be that deep blue like the handle edges. And then I did notice that when I carved my signature in the bottom, I didn't do it straight with the handle. Oh well, I saw that when I was decorating the, the bottom. Anyway, thanks to the tutorials from Paula McCoy, Colors for Earth, I felt confident to tackle these violets. And thanks to people like Ann Rule and Jessica Putnam Phillips, uh, I was confident to design the layout of this. I love the pottery community. It is such a giving, sharing community, and I hope some of my videos will inspire some other people. Anyway, this was my rough draft. I don't usually sketch things out, but I had seen something, a photo online of some violets when I was researching how to paint or draw violets. And it was a spray, and it kind of inspired me to do this. The spray was a little bit different. It had a big clump over here and then a wisp going up like that, and it looked so light and airy. And so I thought I would attempt something similar. Anyway, I can't wait to fire it and see how it turns out. Fingers crossed.